Hello students, welcome to Sarasa's classes. In this video, I am solving some of the questions on geology from Jam 2017. Now, in the previous video, I have solved the first three questions. Now, I will start with the question number four. Now, here we have which of the following primary sedimentary structures is not used for paleocurrent analysis. Now, first, what is paleocurrent analysis? Paleocurrent analysis is the analysis of paleocurrent indicators that are the evidence for the direction of flow at the time of at the time at the time of sedimentation that is at the time the sediment was deposited so this is also referred to as paleo flow paleo flow so the paleo current analysis it is the analysis of paleocurrent indicators which are evidence for the direction of flow at the time of sedimentation or at the time the sediment was deposited. Now there are four options current crescent, symmetrical wave ripples, flute mark and imbrigation of pebbles. Among these this current crescent, flute marks and imbrigation of pebbles these are the sedi primary sedimentary structures that are used for paleo current analysis so the correct answer of this question is option number c that is symmetrical wave ripples are the primary sedimentary structures that are not used in paleo current analysis the next question is the age of Patchum formation is so we have to find in which of the following ages are the ages of Patchum formation. Now, this Patchum formation, this is Mesoic geological formation. So they are Mesozoic, Mesozoic geologic formation. The Mesozoic Zoologic Formation of Patcham Island of India of Patcham Island of India. So this Patcham Formation, they are the Mesozoic Geological Formation of Patcham Island of India and in this formation the dinosaur remains are among the fossils that have been recovered. So, dinosaur remains are among the fossils that have been recovered from the fossils. So, the age of Patchum formation is Jurassic age. So the correct answer of this question is option number C, that is the age of pattern formation is Jurassic age. Now in the next question we have the rivers that receive water from groundwater seepage are termed as. Now the correct answer of this question is option number A, that is affluent rivers because affluent rivers are streams which get their water from groundwater. So they are the streams which get their water, that is receive their water from groundwater seepage. This effluent rivers, they gain water from the inflow of groundwater through stream bed. Now, from the groundwater to discharge into the stream channel, the altitude of water table in the altitude of water table
in vicinity so the altitude of water table in the vicinity vicinity of stream must be higher than the altitude of stream bed so what happening is that the ground water it gets into the river stream through stream bed and it happens when the altitude of water table in the vicinity of the stream bed it is higher than the altitude of stream bed so the correct answer of this question that is the rivers that receive groundwater seepage are termed as effluent rivers